Good morning. Today is May 24th, and you have probably already seen my uh, last tag video where I talked about I had printed off two zero drafts, and I wasn't sure which one I was going to do. And just to recap, I have my short story, and I have a novel. How I tend to do my project names is I name it, I just use the main character's name. It just so happens in this short story, the main character's name is Rachel. So I don't want to make things complicated if I'm going to be talking about this to you guys. So I'm going to call this project Diana because Diana is the other major character. And then this is a dual perspective. So this project actually is a little bit different from my normal role and this is project space librarians so I have decided to start with project Diana because at the moment it's a short story that I'm looking to expand into a novella and I have just started with my first few pages the opening which is rough and I look forward to getting to put in some more detailed background to catch the reader when I, I know when I started writing it, I was just like, I hate short stories. I hate short stories. And so I just got into the meat of it as fast as possible. I did have a friend read my zero draft and he suggested that I need to put a little more groundwork and make the reader connect with the main character before she meets the second major character. So that's what I have started doing today. So it's been a while since I've checked in for this writing vlog that I'm trying to do. Um, it is the 11th of June. So shortly after I last talked to you, I had printed out the zero drafts of two stories and I was planning to read through them, make notes, and then go back and do a fuller first draft. But as I was reading them, I found that I immediately was wanting to revise like I would be like, oh, that needs to be changed and that will change the whole scene. And that wasn't originally what I was going for. So I was kind of fighting it. And well, in the end I gave in and I think it's going a lot smoother now. So what I am currently doing is I am reading over one scene and then revising it immediately. I don't know, maybe after I'm finished with that, then I'll be able to print off the draft and do my original read and make notes edits kind of thing, but we shall see. So yesterday I showed you that I was going to Barnes and Noble and I figured I'd show you what I got. Um, I had a really hard time deciding what to buy. The question was, do I buy something that I've read and I know I want to own or do I buy something completely new and take a chance? I decided to go with something that I've already read and love and have been wanting to own for a while. And that was All Systems Read by Martha Wells, the first book in the Murderbot series. I also decided to buy a craft book and I got creating characters and this seems rather interesting to me it is uh, hopefully you can see it a little bit it's so it seems like it's set up to be a practical writing of characters and each chapter is written by a different author 
And so I was thinking I would read this and kind of report each chapter to you guys and see, tell you what I'm learning from it. I really hope that it is good. I was wanting to buy my own copy of The Heroine's Journey, which I'm also reading currently, but it's uh, because Carragher self-published this. The bookstore didn't have it on their shelves. They said they could order it in because it's on demand, but as I don't live near the Barnes & Noble, I figure I'll just read this and then I'll buy myself a copy eventually because this is also very interesting. All right, and then also while I have you here, um, I'm probably gonna end the blog today. This has been my first experiment with vlogging and it's been fun. I think I'll probably try it again a little bit in the future, but we shall see. So I think I'm going to leave you with what I plan to do for Camp Nano. I have a novella series that I am working on and there's six siblings. I was originally going to do five books because the first one deals with two of the uh, siblings. I think I might expand that to six, but I'm not 100% certain. So for my Camp Nano, I am going to outline the six books because their stories are going to be happening somewhat concurrently. And so that is my nano project for Camp Nano in July. I'm curious to know what are you guys going to be working on and I will see you all in the future. Thank you and have a great day.